Hi guys, it's Maika. I'm back for the AAA card challenges. The challenge is number 205, two quarters or two one bit. I'll explain later. And a slimline card. It's also the last challenge of this year, so I hope you will join us and show us your marvelous cards. So I made a slimline by cutting a piece of A4 sheets to 22 centimeters, and then a strip to go on top that is. 10 and a half by 21. So I counted my squares could be nine and a half. Let me see. I did count it. Yeah, 10 and a half by five. And my rectangular dies are a little bit smaller, but that's fine because then I have more white space. And instead of putting them in each corner or side by side, I decided to put them next to each other like windows and I'm marking the middle and also kind of where I want my dice to be there the height is not important really but so I can space them equally and this <laughs> I tried to tape it on the inside so it doesn't tear my card panel but it still moves So here are my windows and I erase the pencil lines now of course I don't need them anymore so I'm looking if they're straight but somehow I think my um, rectangle bowed a little bit I'm not sure if that's possible but it's fine I am tracing where I want the panel to go and where the windows are it's not super important but because the panel is smaller I don't want any ink to seep out from behind it of course so see I'm just roughly marking and masking then I can you know erase that as well and apply my ink blending to at first I went with this stencil, I didn't like it. Now I will show you later how that turned out. I think the snowflakes are really cute on the stencil, but they're a little bit big. Also I didn't get them as sharp as I wanted them. So <laughs> I cut another card base and start again. This why I'm just, this time I'm just ink blending. And I'm using Broken China and Faded Jeans for my night sky. And I put the lightest one at the bottom and the other one I put it at the top. Don't know why. <laughs> because it's always lighter near the earth, isn't it? So, yeah. <laughs> Probably light pollution, I don't know, but doesn't matter. So instead of stamping I'm splattering the good old fashioned splatter. Yeah. I also had a background stamp, but it's not wide enough, so I had to, you know, move it as well. And I didn't want to do that. I kind of like my scene now. So this is Shimmer Spit Sparkle, because it's Christmas. Or almost Christmas. It's also almost my birthday. Can you believe it was a year ago? I gave away five gift cards of fifty dollars. Yeah, still broke. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I haven't saved up this year though. And um, yeah, this is the uh, the illusions picket. No, sorry, white linen. And it gives me my snow. You see? It's kind of look like you look out a train. That has two windows, doesn't it? Or a tank. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. That's my two quarters, so, you know. And I have this piece that 
I cut off from the card base to make my slimline. So I used that to die cut these crafty motion villages. And I did it twice first. But I thought it doesn't really make any sense to have two churches in one little village. So there's also for crafty motions are the stags and moose and deer. I don't know what they are. But I thought he could look through the other window. And I partial die cut him so I have a little bit more room to glue him down. Where he didn't do the legs. And at first I was okay with that. But he looks a bit chopped off if you do that. So I did try to get it out. So I die cut it from a piece of scrap. I didn't really put it straight or anything. Bit. So I, I mark it so I can cut it nearby and then chop off the bottom as well. Don't need it. Make it straight. And I'm mounting this behind the windows, but first I need to stamp my sentiment. And this is Tiny Type from Clearly Besotted because it's nice and modern and small. So I'm putting that on the front in the corner. And I'm stamping it with Versa Fine ink. It's just Merry Christmas, I mean, there's nothing pretentious about it. <laughs> it's crisp and modern, I like it. So. And I heat set it just to be sure. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's Versa Fine. And this machinery, and this one, yeah, blech. <laughs> <laughs> you can pause it if you want to see. Yeah, it wasn't very nice. The sensor is very nice. But probably if you do it the other way around, it would be nicer. So yeah, see, I tried to see if it's cut at all. I kind of like it that you see the legs, but then you have the little stubby bit on the bottom, which you can glue down because the legs are really tiny. It's not like you have any room. And here I almost stuck it to the wrong side. <laughs> it's a good thing. I stamped it first, didn't I? Um, I'm, I'm gluing him in the corner so I can secure his antlers as well. And the bottom. And for good measure I'm putting some scotch tape on it. You know, and the weight. <laughs> and the same, I'm kind of doing the same with my village. I'm deciding which tree is more important to me. And I'll put some liquid glue there as well. And also the weight. <laughs> it's very handy, this scotch tape thingy. But yeah. See? I like it. It's like he's on the edge of the village. I don't know, it doesn't make sense. <coughs> I'm also gluing it down with the liquid glue on the card panel. Just so I can move it a little bit. You can see on the right side, my post-it tape went a little bit inwards. It made it a uh, quite close shave. But okay, there's the card finished. I hope you will join us with our last challenge, and I look forward to see what you make. So thank you for watching. See you again soon. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and all that. And I will see you next year for AAA cards challenges. Bye.